Welcome to PPT Genix. So, in today's video, as you can see, we are going to learn how to create different types of 3D circles. So, let's begin. All right. So here, I'm going to select this slide and I'm going to press the Enter key so that I have a new blank slide. All right, so the first of all, we are going to learn how to create a sphere. For that, I'm just going to insert the basic shape that is the oval. So by pressing the shift key, I'm going to insert the oval. All right, so the shape outline is going to be the no outline and shape fill can be any color. I'm selecting this color. All right, and in the effect option, so let's close it and I'll show you how to open this format shape option. So by clicking the right mouse button on the shape, you have this option called format shape. Okay, you'll go there and here in the effect options, in the 3D format, in the top bevel, you're going to select the round. For the bottom bevel also, you're going to select the round. Okay, the width of it is going to be 200 points and the height is also going to be 200 points you can also add the 200 points for the bottom level also so 200 points for the width and 200 points for the height alright so let's increase size of the sphere a little bit beautiful now if you want you can just change the material or if you want you can change the lightning also i like the same lightning so here our uh, sphere is red okay let's drop the colors so our sphere is ready if you want we can give an effect also so let's go to the effect option Let's go to reflection and let's give a basic reflection. All right, so as well as well. Now, I am going to click the right mouse button and here this option that is called a save as picture. I'm going to save it as a picture and picture two and I'm going to click on save it. Now I'm going to go to my next line and here I'm going to insert that picture. So we'll go to the insert option, this device and picture 2 we are going to insert here. Okay, so now I am going to crop this picture. So let's crop to the middle. Alright, perfect. Now in the next step, I am going to insert the shape that is known as oval only okay and for this it should be of this size let's press the shift key let's just check yeah exactly like this so the shape outline is going to be no outline and shape fill is going to be the now in the format shape option we will go to the 3d rotation and in the 3d rotation the preset i'm going to select this perspective relaxed all right now let's do some y rotation let's bring it down a little bit and let's increase its size a little bit no it's a little bigger so let's adjust its size like this. Hmm. Now it's perfect. Now I'm going to press the Ctrl A to select all the shapes and now press the Ctrl G to group. Now I can rotate it also like this or go both ways. So here we have also created the half sphere. All right. Now in the next, we are going to learn 
to create another type of 3D circle. So here again we go to the insert option. We are going to insert this oval shape only. Okay, by pressing the shift key. Sorry. Let's insert this oval shape one more time by pressing the shift key. Here is our shape. This time the shape outline is going to be the normal outline. Shape will maybe this maroon. All right. Now here, what we have to do, we'll go to the effect option. In the effect option, 3D rotation, and 3D rotation is going to be the same, the relaxed. All right. Now we'll go to the 3D format, and in the 3D format, we are going to give it some depth. So maybe like 100 points here. I've given this depth. The top bevel for this is going to be this one that is relaxed inset okay and let's just give 20 points to it and the same 20 points to height okay perfect all right now the next step i'm going to insert the oval one more time here by pressing the shift key All right. Now again, we'll go to the effect option, and in the effect option, let's go to the three D rotation. The same. This. All right. And let's bring it over here. Now we'll go to the three D format, and let's decrease the depth. Sorry. Instead of decreasing the depth, we'll go to the 3D rotation only and let's decrease the distance from ground. So, maybe 10 points or maybe for 15 points. Now, just select the color for the shape, maybe. And now, pressing the control A key. I'm selecting both the shapes and now press Ctrl G to click it. And now you can look at it any way like this. So here we have created another kind of 3D circle. Now it's turn off to fun. Alright, so let's press the enter key for the new slide. And now I am going to insert the shape that is known as donut shape. So here by pressing the shift key, I am going to insert the donut shape and by moving this yellow handle, I can just change the width. Alright, now the shape outline is going to be the no outline. Shape, color, you can select any color. Now we'll go to the effect option and in the effect option, let's select any kind of rotation, either this one or you can go for this one as well all right now in the 3d format shape let's just increase the depth maybe 40 points okay. whatever you want you can also give it 50 points all right now in the next step, what we can do, we can just press the Ctrl D to make the exact copy and then let's reduce its size a little bit more by pressing the Shift key and just place it on top of the previous one, change the color, whatever color you want to choose, maybe this purple color. Again, press the Ctrl D by pressing the shift key, it's just the size and just place it on top of the previous one. Just select any random color. Alright, now if you want, you can just change the material and the lightning for them. So let's go to the effect option. So, material I'm going to select maybe this one, and the lightning is going to be the blue So, like this, and now by pressing the control A key, I'm 
when I press the control G key, I can group them and I can just rotate them in any direction like this. Perfect, isn't it? All right. So let's have a preview for all the 3D shapes that we have created today.